have been our dwelling place in generations, before their mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth, the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalms 91, verses 1 and 2. Good morning. We'd like to welcome you to Beeler Mennonite Church. Today is our Junior Department Promotion Sunday. This is a Sunday where we recognize our Junior Department as they advance to their next grade level here in church. And uh, this program is being put on to you today by our toddlers through um, eighth grade from last year. And uh, this summer, the toddlers through the fifth grade uh, studied the uh, following of God. So our t-shirts all say following God and uh, we're going to uh, share some of the things that they learned this summer. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we gather in this place of worship to praise your name. You are the, all, you are the almighty God who guides us, loves us, is our protector, and a God of mercy. We want to take this time to thank you for all you have done for us. Be with our children as they grow in your love. Guide those who instruct them in, this, in your word and bless each and every one here today as our children share. All this in the Heavenly Father's name, amen. If everybody would stand and we're gonna sing a couple of uh, Sunday school songs and one of the first one we're gonna sing is Jesus Loves the Little Children. sit down, would everybody turn around and spread God's love by greeting your neighbors? I'd like for everybody to stay standing as we sing one of all-time favorites. Several years ago, I went around and asked uh, some of the adults in our church as to uh, what their favorite Sunday school song was, and the number one song was Jesus Loves Me. So join us as we sing Jesus Loves, Loves Me.
at this time, if there are any announcements or sharing or introduction of guests that we might want to uh, uh, share with the congregation, this is the time to do that. Themes that was really strong this summer throughout all of our Sunday school lessons is the meaning of faith and how the different characters in the Bible um, learn how to be more faithful um, and how God calls them. And so this morning you're gonna get to meet some of those characters, but before we do and before we give you the answer to what faith is, um, we're gonna give you a few little video clips from a couple of our kids saying what they think faith is. when you trust in someone. All right. We decided that faith is believing in something that you cannot see. Faith helps us understand that God made the world. This summer, the junior department has been learning and hearing stories of this faith and learning how to follow God. The Bible tells stories about people who had faith, and we would like to share a few of those with you. So, my First faith follower. My name is Noah. I believe in God's warning and built an ark. I'm Abraham. And I'm Sarah. We obeyed God and traveled to a new land, even though we did not know where we were going. I'm Moses. I listened when God called me to help the Israelite people leave Egypt and go to the land where God wanted them to live. My name is Esther. I was chosen to be queen when the king was going to be trade the Jewish people, I rescue my life, risk my life to help my people be ha by having faith, God is saving. I save the Jews. Many people we don't know followed God, even when others were making fun of them and were unkind. There are many people who have shown us how to follow God. So we're going to ask the kids who they would think or uh, help them to follow God. So who's God? Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're going to sing Arky Arky first.
right, we just talked about a lot of people that have faith and that taught us how to follow God or how to um, be a better Christian or what it looks like to follow Jesus. I want you guys to think about somebody in your life or somebody at this church that has helped you to be a better follower of Jesus. And can you raise your hand when you have somebody that you're thinking of? Janice, will you stand up? My name is Zamus Harder, and it's my dad because he's a pastor. <laughs> Do you pay him, uh, Wilmer? <laughs> I'm Micah, and my mom and dad help me. My grandma and grandpa. Anybody else? Have somebody that they want to share? I have somebody that all of you guys have each and every Sunday. It's not the same person, but it's the same group of people that every Sunday teaches us how to follow God. Do you know what group of people I'm thinking of? Yes, our Sunday school teachers. And they are a precious gift to our congregation. And at this time, we just want to recognize each one of them by giving them a little token of our appreciation. Um, should I just have a few kids come up? Well, actually, actually, Jesus is our best example as um, the one that we should be following. He was our greatest teacher. But we do have local uh, people here in our church that have helped with our junior department. In the toddler, three- and four-year-old class, we had Melanie. She's right over here, honey. Raleigh. Judy, stand up. Why don't the teachers stand and stay standing so that everybody can see who they are? In our first and second grade class, we had Kim Ants. That way. In our third and fourth class, we had Bonnie Danner. In our fourth and fifth grade class, we had Marilyn Bontrager. Lavera Parker. Joe and Blanca Kaufman. and Diana Stuckey. We combined this last year, we combined our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and uh, Val Belknap, and Warren Bontrager, And we still need a couple of teachers if there's anybody that's led to helping with our fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth. Every morning, every Sunday morning, um, we got together with the little guys, the little kids in uh, fellowship hall down the, down the um, hall here. And the music was led by Greta. And Louise McIntyre helped out when Greta couldn't be around and also Hannah. Hannah. They do. And is Louise here? I didn't. Louise is not here. But Hannah. And I also want to thank 
Patty, who has been a saving grace over the past 24 hours, and Miss Sarah, who always gives so graciously her talents to our little ones. Let's give our teachers and uh, junior department a All right, hold on to your seats. Are you guys ready for the show? <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things that uh, we rehearsed this morning in fellowship hall while you guys were doing Sunday school. So if, it might be just a little crude, but I think it'll be a fun, fun uh, program for you guys and the kids enjoy it. So. Okay. Before we ever start singing or we start our Sunday school, we always start with a little prayer. And so I'm going to do that for the kids this morning. And then we are going to have the Harder family come up. They are starring in Balaam and the Donkey. So if you would bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, we ask your presence this morning, especially over these little people. Please give them peace of mind and clarity of thought and help their words be heard by everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Harder family. Sometimes we need, to, we need help seeing things that are right in front of us. In our first story is a good example of the story of Balaam, the donkey, and the angels, and it comes from Numbers 22 and 24. King Balak wanted Balaam to come to curse the Israelites people who camped near his land. Balaam asked God what he should do. God told Balaam not to listen to the king. The Israelites could not be blessed or could not could only be blessed. Balaam left on his donkey. The donkey saw an angel in the road holding a sword. So the donkey turned into a field. Balaam didn't see the angel. He made the donkey go back to the road. Again, the angel appeared. The donkey tried to turn and pinch Balaam's leg against a wall. Balaam got angry and forced the donkey to keep walking. Once more, the angel appeared. This time, the donkey sat down and wouldn't move. <laughs> Balaam still couldn't see, the God, couldn't see the angel. God opened the mouth of the donkey. The donkey said, Balaam answered, Then God opened Balaam's eyes, and he could see the angel standing in the path with a sword. Balaam fell to the ground and said, Forgive me, I did wrong. The angel told Balaam to listen and obey God. When Balaam got to the king, he said, God, guide us to you. Open our eyes. Teach us what we must learn. We are yours. Amen. Okay, in our next story, God wants us to have a relationship with everyone. Remember, God loves us and will give us what we need. Jeremiah gave the people hope with the new covenant from God. Jeremiah 1, verses 1 through 10, and 31, verses 31 through 40. When Jeremiah was a boy, he heard God say to him, Go. 
Before you were even born, I knew you and chose you to be a prophet. Jeremiah said, But I'm too young. I don't know how to speak to people. God answered, Do not be afraid. I will be with you. God touched Jeremiah's mouth and said, I have put my words into your mouth. <laughs> when Jeremiah was much older, life was hard for the people of Jerusalem. Jeremiah spoke to God, saying, I will make a new covenant, but it, it will not be like the old covenant. It, that was broken by the people. I will put my law within the people, and I will write it on their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I will forgive the wrong they have done, and they shall all know me. As long as the sun, the stars, and the moon stay in their places, and the waves of the seas roll, continue to roll, the people of Israel will be my people. The time is coming where the walls of the city will be rebuilt. The valley and all that surrounds the city will be sacred places, and this will be true forever. God. Let's pray. Merciful God, your love is more than I deserve, and yet you give it in abundance. We love you for the joy you give us. We love you for the peace we find in you. We love you, God. Amen. Giving is one way to pass on, God, on the love of God. At this time, we'll do the offering. Dear Lord, we ask that you bless these gifts that we have given and all those that have given to your works. Help us be your light into this world. In Jesus' name, amen. 
in Luke 19, 1 through 10, we find the story of Zacchaeus, who changed after talking to Jesus. Zacchaeus collected money every day at his tax booth. The people were not happy with Zacchaeus. He had enough money for a beautiful home, fine food, and all of the things he wanted. One day, Jesus came to Jericho. Everyone wanted to see Jesus, but Zacchaeus couldn't see through the crowd. He ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree. When Jesus walked by, he saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Zacchaeus hurried and come down. Today I must stay at your house. Zacchaeus climbed down the tree. The people didn't understand why Jesus would eat with a tax collector like Zacchaeus. Why would Jesus want to be the guest of someone who was a sinner? Zacchaeus collects taxes for the Roman government. He got rich from cheating people like me. While the people grumbled, Jesus ate with Zacchaeus and talked with him as a friend. Zacchaeus, what are you going to give to the poor? All of what, half of what I have. And for the people that you have cheated, how much more will you give them? Four. Four times as much. Today, salvation has come to this house. God, it amazes us that we have you undivided attention. And despite our shortcomings, you love never waves. Amen. The last story we will share is from John 3, 1 through 21. Nic Nicodemus had a conversation with Jesus about the kingdom of God.
Nicodemus, a teacher of Israel, visited Jesus one night. They talked about finding the kingdom of God. You must be born into the God's kingdom. That's the way to start. How can a grown-up be born? It is like being born, making a fresh start. What is born of human flesh is flesh, and what is born of the Spirit of God is spirit. God's spirit is like the wind. It blows where it chooses. You can hear it, but you don't know where it comes from or where it goes. In the same way, you cannot see the Spirit of God, but it is there. How can this be? I don't understand. God's love. God loves the world. God sent this, the Son into the world to save the world. The Son of God has brought light into the world. The, lights, the light is for everyone. If you do what is good and true, you are walking in God's light. God of light, shine through us. May we serve as a beacon to those still in the dark who want to shine with love. Amen. Okay, we'd like at this time to introduce you to our junior department. We're going to start with our last year's eighth graders, if they would just come stand up here on the stage, and they will tell you who they are. I'm Kinley Siemens. Seth Gould. Cody Brandenburger. Elias Harder. Colton Lorenz. Now we'll have our last year's seventh graders. Come on up, Jonathan. You're not going to get out of it. <laughs> I'm Cassidy Parsons. I'm Jonathan Troll. Oh, where's Taylor yet? Tyler Von Traeger. And we do have a few of our 7th and 8th graders missing today, so. Um, now we'll do our 6th graders. And we do have one of our 6th graders missing, too. He's with his dad. Brian McGear. Fifth grade. I'm Amy Sarder. Caden Lorenz. Jesse Ballard. Hayden Bonshager. McKenna Siemens. Our fourth graders. Tate Smith, Jenna Shaw, Elena Kaufman. Our third graders. Maddie Bontrager, Sophia Belknap, Drew Ballard, Ruben Harder. Our second grader. Madeline Ledbetter. Our first graders. Abe Smith. Micah Ballard. Madison Parson. Jaito Kaufman. Remy Kaufman. I was going to say Remy was in kindergarten, so he, he was not first grade, but he was in our kindergarten class. Then we had our uh, preschool toddler class. Logan Ledbetter. Maria Harder. 
Will Bontrager, Annalise, and Annalise and Andrew. All right. Great, great group of kids. We did. We have a fantastic group of kids. And we have a great song that kind of sums up the summer. And it's, I have decided to follow Jesus. And it's pretty repetitive. So if you've got the tune down by the second time through, feel free to join in with us. Ephesians 3, 20 to 21, now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all who can imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Bueller Mennonite Church, we ask that you go forward with us and help us in our journey of following God. Have a blessed week. Mm -hmm.